Hello, everybody, and welcome to the... Hello, everyone, and welcome to the Yzrid Games channel. I am your host, Jacob Burgess, the community manager of Yzrid Games. Welcome. Uh, in case you are new here, or uh, this might be your first time tuning in on YouTube, we are a publisher. Uh, we try to uh, publish, or not try to, but we do. We, we actually do that thing. Uh, we publish uh, some charismatic games that um, have a lot of stories, have a lot of stories, have very good stories, and um, Hi, and welcome to the Isrid Games channel. This is my third time trying to give this introduction. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. <laughs> if this is your first time here, uh, we are Yzrid Games. My name is Jacob Burgess. I am your humble host and the community manager. We are a publisher of indie games that have a certain something, uh, a certain charisma, a certain amount of magic, uh, games such as Masquerade of Sonic Shadows. The game that we'll be playing tonight, Valhalla, uh, a cyberpunk bartender action, Y2K, a postmodern RPG, and She Remembered Caterpillars. We have two upcoming games. World of Horror, which is a MS Paint point-and-click adventure horror game, which I think is the best elevator pitch that I can give it. It is awesome. It's based on a lot of the um, the styles and, and influenced a lot by um, uh, Jirito. Uh, and uh, we have the sequel to the game that we're playing tonight, Valhalla, Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Uh, Nirvana, which uh, will be coming out uh, sometime. Yes, I can't commit. I can't even say soon. Um, it will come out sometime. Uh, we played the demo of that uh, a couple of weeks back, and uh, you can check out our YouTube channel if you want to check that out. And welcome, and thank you very much for being here. Uh, yeah, uh, as you can see in our chat, uh, we have uh, our emote got approved so we have a wonderful wonderful heart uh in our channel because we are uh, affiliate level and we we got that uh we got that sweet heart by our community member one of our community members uh i am no lion heart uh we have somebody ha uh, here uh, it's their first time here uh <laughs> uh you're hmm you're tebbies i'm gonna say you're tebbies you're, you're, you're Tebise. You're a, you're a Tebise. I don't know. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, but anyway, hi. Thank you very much for being here. I really appreciate that. Uh, Ren Kamo, uh, is now hosting us. Thank you very much for hosting us and just drops, uh, 100 bits for us. I really, really appreciate it. So, uh, anyway, we have a new emote, uh, do what you like with it. Currently, we have uh, one, and then, like, kind of as we level up and, and get farther into our uh, Twitchery, our Twitchery, uh, we'll be getting more and, and uh, more subscribers and things like that, kind of unlock new slots and whatnot. Um, but I hope everybody had a really, really good weekend. Thank you very, very much for joining me. Uh, Josh something says, hi, friends. Hi, Josh. Two, undercore, two underscores something. Um, yes. I am so excited to see you. I am so excited that our emote got approved. That is so, so cool. Um, one of our community members, I am the Lionheart, who also took pictures for us at the last PAX East. Uh, we hired them uh, to do that. We're actually, uh, I've been reaching out to a lot of different artists. So I'm speaking with a lot of different artists because we're trying to fill out our emotes. And we're trying to fill out our emote slots for both Twitch and Discord. So. You get less, um, and our Discord's really great, and you should join it. Uh, yeah. Um, also, I want to give a shout-out before we get too much into business uh, to all of our mods. Thank you very, very much for being here. Uh, Sarah Sorende, you can see, has the little sword by her name in our chat. If you're uh, watching us on YouTube, you can't see that, but you can picture it, and it's pretty rad, and Sarah's really rad, and uh, we actually got to meet uh, her weekend was filled with travel she was actually here last week and we, we got to actually sit down and she made me a very very nice and i'm going to show it off again i know i showed it off last week but i'm gonna show it off again because it's awesome 
Uh, she is also a fantastic cross-stitcher. Tau. Uh, yeah, I'm trying not to... There, I'm going to hold it up to the camera. Uh, back when I um, streamed with a gentleman named Ian Horner. Uh, uh, back when I uh, streamed with a gentleman named Ian Horner on his channel, Tilty House. Uh, that was quote 140, which uh, I am told is still used on that channel. Quick sip of tea. Moosefield Cat says, my weekend was spent gardening, which was good. That is fantastic. I actually, uh, today I made some uh, gnocchi, um, some gnocchi in uh, bolognese sauce. And for the very first time, because I'm growing, um, uh, I'm growing some plants, uh, we got a click and grow. So it's, it's, you know, I live in a, a fairly small place. So um, uh, before I came here to Studio Yisbrid, I got to actually use some of the basil that I grew and it was fantastic uh, on the pasta that I made because I really, really like cooking. Um, yeah, so tonight, uh, typically on Tuesday nights, we play uh, through our roster and our stable because we want people to experience our games. We want to get to know the community. We want to hear what you have to say. I want to know about your weekends. I want to know about you. A good way to do that is to drop here in chat or drop into our Discord uh, where I am almost all the time and where we are almost all the time uh chances are if you like one of our games you will like all of our games we are fairly stringent in the games that we go after um we they need to have that certain kind of that gizbrid something to them so it would be a good place to discuss the games and check them out and you can also you know that that's kind of why we have this uh we're doing more community outreach and things like that that's why we have a, we're a new uh channel that's why uh we have a new community manager we've only been doing this for about two two and a half months and our discord has grown to over 200 members which is great um we got affiliate level on uh twitch in like a month it's it's all been really cool so i'm very happy you're here and thank you very much for being a part of it um yeah uh other than that i'm nothing else to announce i had a uh i had a lovely weekend i spent the weekend in seattle had a lot of business meetings um and a lot of friend meetings and ate some really good food and i got to go to a meadery which was fantastic and i couldn't bring anybody anything back to to canada with me which is where uh where uh this this channel is based um but i brought it back in my tummy and that was very good speaking of booze uh like i said the game we're playing tonight on tuesdays we do our stable and through uh a community poll of which we got over 300 votes which was super freaking cool the community wanted uh, me to, and wanted us, wanted all of us, to play through Valhalla, uh, Cyberpunk, a uh, bartender action. Uh, also, this is my first time through this game. I've played bits of it so that I can, you know, speak about it intelligently, but I've never gotten the chance to sit down and do a full, like, kind of chill run-through of the whole thing. So that's what we're doing. So shall we uh also if you have any questions or anything like that shout them out in chat um the uh the one thing that i do ask is because this is my first all first time through like the whole game aside from like doing demos and bits and things like that this is my first time through the whole game through the whole emotional arc of this game uh if i'm gonna make a mistake let me know like just drop it just let me know all right if there's like a certain thing like oh it'd be really interesting if you did x or make sure you buy this thing it's going to make things much much easier on you that's totally cool i don't care if you solve any puzzles for me or anything like that i'm fine with that please don't spoil any story or anything coming up getting me hyped about something like i'm really excited about this next person that's showing up do it awesome fantastic i want to know what you're excited about especially when it comes to our games you getting excited makes me excited and then i get excited and you get excited and then we explode into butterflies and it's going to be amazing so yes hmm. yeah i think that's about it shall we begin um this would be a good time if you want to uh go and grab a drink i have uh, something for myself because it's very very warm here so I have my ice. Nothing fancy for me this evening. Mm. I just have some Gentleman Jack. I'm going to have a little bit of whiskey this evening. Uh, also, please consider this your content warning for this game. This is an adult-themed game for adults. Uh, 
so there are there is some adult content and things like that um so just you know be warned there's swearing uh i tend to read out people's voices because uh other things that i do is i'm a uh a professional voice actor and a, a games writer and narrative designer and stuff um so i will be reading out all of the voices but please be warned this is mature content kind of stuff okay uh yes cheers everybody I'm very much looking forward to a nice chill evening with you. Mm. Also, if you're an artist and you want to drop into our Discord, uh, we are hiring and commissioning artists to help us with uh, all of our... Oh, that's very good. Um, to help us with all of our um, emotive needs. So please reach out to me. You can reach out to me uh, over... Um, uh, DM on Discord. Uh, my Twitter handle is at Jacob Burgess VO. You can also message the Yisbird Games uh, Twitter, which is uh, at Yisbird Games. Same as the channel here. You can probably see it in the address bar up there. I think I'm pointing probably at the right spot if you're watching me on YouTube. Uh, if you're watching me on Twitch, I mean, it, it should still all be up there. Yeah, anyway. Graphic designers, artists, anything like that. Like, if you think you got the chops and, and you'd like to throw me your portfolio, that would be absolutely fantastic because, um, yeah, I, I, it's, I love working with artists. It's absolutely insane to me that I can just like pay someone money and they will work with me to try and like, you know, put my thoughts into the paper and did like an image from my mind working with an artist and they can just like make it. That's insane to me. Uh, you're to be say, well, gotta go because it's 2 a.m. on the side of the big balloon. Uh, to all enjoy the stream and cheers to Jacob. Cheers. Thank you very much for joining us. Get some sleep. I hope you rest very, very well. All right. So, let's do it. Oh, yes. And, uh, Alifred said post suggestions in the Yisbrid, uh, emo channel, of which we have. Thank you very much for reminding me that is the thing that I did. Okay, good. All right. Uh, Bitter Wanderer. Hello, Bitter Wanderer. It is very, very good to see you. It's excellent to see you. Uh, Bitter Wanderer, for those that may not know, um, uh, those that may have been following me for a while, I uh, know that one of the characters that I played in one of uh, Yisbrid's games, Masquerade of Song and Shadows, one of the characters that I played is named Oli. And Bitter Wanderer uh, made me a plushie of Oli, which is fantastic. If you want to see that, uh, I don't have it handy. I didn't bring it with me today. Uh, but if you want to see that, you can go back into our YouTube channel when we played the first kind of little bit of Masquerada, um, and I had Oli with me there. Um, uh, the character Oli, give me just one second, I can actually show you. And then you can imagine a plushie of this, and then your heart will go, oh, oh, and it's going to be a really good feeling. Give me just one second. Oh. Damn, the music in this game is so freaking good. That one. So imagine that as a plushie. And now your heart can go, oh, and it's really, really good. Um, so yes, let's play some Valhalla, shall we? Let's see if I can remember the shortcuts as well. Move that over there. I don't need my notes anymore, because they did it. Flawlessly, I may add. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, so tonight we're playing Valhalla, as I said. You can see Cyberpunk Bartender Action. Um, it's a visual style, a uh, visual novel style game where you make drinks for people to come in. Instead of conversation options, it's what you make them and how close you get to it that kind of changes their mood and some of their dialogue options and things like that uh multiple playthroughs are absolutely possible to get a bunch of different endings and it's neat yes yes uh also if you want one of the pins we do sell them on our store we have them published for um uh packs and things like that we have a lot of cool stuff on there t-shirts and whatnot so uh if you like us you can wear us you can you can clothe your 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 biological robot suit your hmm you can put clothes on your skeleton's clothes yeah 
let us load. Load. To the room on day two. Ah. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account has at least $800 by then. Jill bought what she wanted, and she's pleased with herself. She will surely focus at work. You can now browse danger backslash you backslash. You can now visit JC uh, Elton's. Click to dismiss this message. Hmm. Yes. 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 Uh, K Grimace. Got Jill and Dorothy pins already. Looking forward to getting a Sam one, and hopefully you make a Say one eventually. Uh... You know what? Drop that, uh, K Grimace, if you don't mind, drop that, uh, if you have any recommendations or any feedback or anything on pins that you'd like to see in the future, definitely drop, uh, definitely drop that. Um, the Sam pin is freaking awesome. We, uh, that was PAX East, this last PAX East, they are fantastic. Um, but yeah, K Grimace, if that's what, if that's something you want, like, jump in the Discord, let us know. I, I love feedback. I love hearing from the community. I love hearing what you want. I can't always guarantee that it's going to happen, but I love hearing from you because it's it's fantastic and it's very gratifying. And I, I want to know what you, the community, want so that I can do my best to work towards getting it to you, if it's possible. And if it's not, I like to try to be as transparent as possible on why it can't happen. Um, and sometimes the answer is just, ah, business reasons, and then a sad emoji, like a, a, an emoji of a person crying falls out of my eye, and they are also crying. So I'm crying, and then it's, it gets very crying inception. It gets weird. Anyway, let's play. Four. Weren't you going to have curry yesterday? By the way, this had to be explained to me, so I'm going to explain it to you. Uh, four is the cat. I didn't know the cat could talk, and that's rad. Uh, Von Aether says, I'm 18 minutes late and Jacob has already started. I don't know what to believe anymore. <laughs> so I go through uh, business and things on the stream. Uh, you know, just chat, connect with the community. Uh, folks seem to think I'm stalling, uh, and that's not the case unless I'm playing a horror game. Um, so... <clears throat> and then... I become Russian, because I start Stalin. Mm. Whiskey is good. Jill, a ghost took my money. All right. Well, let's read some articles, shall we? <sighs> oh, got to get that D. Dangerous backslash you, or danger backslash you backslash. Dangerous opinions. Miki concert, we did that, we did that. Okay. Let's see. AE, the augmented eye. Local woman, local hero. By Lana Smithy. This morning, oh wait, we read these last time. 70% of our readers consider shrimp, yeah, shrimp ramen is disgusting. I think Alice Rabbit may be a dog. Okay. Huh. Huh. All right. Well, we read that already. Jill, those purple numbers. Huh. What, what purple numbers? Oh, she comments on them. Oh, I'm too busy reading the thing. She actually comments on the... The shrimp is so artificial it doesn't trigger my allergies. Oh, that's cool. Those purple numbers. Eh, eh, purple numbers, purple numbers. Huh. That seems like it's a code. I wish there was a way to copy and paste that so I could get it translated. Because that just looks like binary code. I wonder what that says. I will find out later. Okay. Uh, so we shopped, which I found out last time that like you can buy things for your little like Neo Tokyo apartment thing. Uh, your Glitch City apartment and... That that's amazing. I uh, oh so good. And there's she has a kotatsu, which I really really enjoy, uh, and a shirt that says slut on it, uh, which is something that we sell on our store. If that is if you are a huge uh, Valhalla fan, you can get that pink shirt. Uh, if you go back through uh, the Yisbrid, um, uh 
the Use Rig Games uh, Twitter, uh, we have a couple of pictures of all of our volunteers in that shirt. Uh, Von Aether, uh, the binary says the revolution is CO. Coming, commencing. Oh, cool. Thank you very much, Von Aether. Much obliged. All right. Uh, I think it's go to work sometimes. Go to work times. No. Always wrestling. Always wrestling. Jill. Good evening. Dana. Hey, Jill. Boston? Dana seems like she'd have a Boston accent. I didn't really land on a voice for her last time. Wah! Dana. That's a sound you don't hear every day. D but, boss, what, what are you, what are you doing with that helmet? No, I was just about to ask where. Uh, I was just about to ask you where it came from. A, a, a white knight came yesterday. She left and she forgot to take it with her. Um, I figured she'd eventually come looking for it, so I left it under the cap. Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking who they belong to first? I don't. Pl I don't plan and evaluate my every move, Jill. I just act. Anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You, you sound happy. Well, this helmet is comfortable and cool, and comfortable and cool, and and, and really, really cool. Uh, hello, hello. Oh, Jillian, or Gillian, I should say. Was he sad? Hmm. Oh, that's right. I gave her, a, or I gave him a deeper voice. It's strange that you're late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was. Gah! Don't run. You have work to do. <laughs> oh no! Backstory. <laughs> I'm not going back to Hong Kong. Hong Kong? Ch Ch Chief? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Apparently. I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll, I'll donate the Pluto warheads. I'll, I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The, the, the what? Where now? Uh, nothing. Never mind. She seems happy. She's been tense these past couple of days. If she's somehow relaxed now, good. Are you all set? Yep. All right. Ooh, yes. Yes. Well, we just met a white knight, so let's put uh, let's put that in there. Yes. Yes. Do I drag? Do you click? What is this? No. Oh, because it's already there. No, nah, all right, we'll put that first. <laughs> Why isn't this working? I want to switch out songs. Why won't you let me do this? Uh, add songs by clicking the title. Uh, you know, it, it helped Jacob. If you read the frickin' directions at the bottom in Bright Fuchsia. Nice job. Hello, Odeway. Ooh, nighttime maneuvers. Let's get a sexy song in there, yes. And we'll just... Switch them around. Yes, ready, good. Excellent. Time to mix drinks and chain. <laughs> you! Oh, Miss Kim.
Because of you, I got up late and lost a full day of work, and on the day everyone got a nifty assignment too. Wait, because of me? You were the one that got me drunk and made me fall asleep like a goddamn log. So you arrived home safely. That's nice. Th that's all you have to say? What do you want me to say? If I felt remorse over every client that gets drunk in here, I wouldn't be working. But, but... True. Morally speaking, I shouldn't let people get drunk. But getting people drunk is the unspoken main purpose of my job. And I did say that I didn't know how much alcohol you could handle, didn't I? I... Ah. Seriously, what kind of answer is that? Ah. Hello, Mr. Donovan. Do I know you? Hey, Brad. You're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Great. Luck, he says. Oh, Mr. Donovan. Welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? No. The usual. Gee, I wonder what he means. It's beer. Uh, that's right. There are quick keys. And one, one, two, three, four. Two powdered deltas. Four flanner guides. One, two, three, four. Hey, I remember the hotkeys. Go, Jacob. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's nice. It's nice. All mixed. Okay, demixed. Okay, I mixed. I serve, yes. Here is your beer, Mr. Donovan. You, you dumb, you dumb jerk face. Here you go. Yes, now that's what I call service. That's good to hear. But what brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today we're supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those, oh boy. All those crazy bitches came flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car. I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but hell with that. And thanks to all that shit, I found myself here blessing you hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday too. How, how did that come about? There's this gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Yesterday, I was tuning the details of the interview, but I'd have with... Uh, Yesterday, I was tuning the details of the interview I'd have with her today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive bitches. Ugh. I see. How was the interview? Easy enough. Uh, the fact that the gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. Ugh, this guy. We've come a long way in the uh, department of Lilum sex appeal, I tell you. She was a Lilum then. Yes, one of those new fancy King Class CH1A models. Chia. I've heard they're anatomically correct in every way. Ugh. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Yeah, oh man. Oh, Jacob sat down to play this game. And like, I'm a voice actor. I should. I should voice everybody. I'm gonna take a real hot shower later, is what Jacob's gonna do. Nice hot shower. Scrub myself with a loofah. Hmm. Hey, you! The guy with the John face. Huh? Me? What? What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I. I don't think so, sir. No, no. I'm. I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was the Hong Kong riots 10 years ago, right? I, I, I've never been to Hong Kong, and I certainly didn't defect from any anti-riot force to ever just stealing supplies. Really? Well, that's a bummer. You look like a guy who owes me a drink. You were in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? 10 years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. 
So I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors when those damn riots broke out. Holy heck. Okay, Serge Yeager is raiding with a party of 146. Hello, everybody. Dear Lord in Heaven. All right, so it's the Brew Crew from Loading Ready Run. Hello, everyone. Welcome. Dear Lord in Heaven, how am I going to keep up with this? All right. Hello, Serafina. Hello, Snack Pack. Hello, everybody in the Brew Crew. Boy, oh boy. Well, hey, we can show everybody that's raiding our new emote, which is great. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, yes, no, from Serge Yeager, one of my Loading Ready Run friends. Thank you very much, Sarah. Hello, Serge. Thank you very, very much for the raid. Hello, everybody who is coming in from the Brew Crew. Uh, welcome on this terrific, terrific Tuesday. Um... You're all fantastic. Welcome to Yizvert Games. Um, <laughs> uh, Moosefield Cat just gifted uh, five tier one stubs uh, to Yizvert Games community. Um, uh, Moosefield Cat just gifted a sub to Amethyst, Alfred, Animir, uh, Epic Tyler525, and K Grimace. Uh, let's consider just subscribe to tier one. Thank you very, very much. I, I really appreciate that. I love that freaking coffee with the blue bow emote that is super super freaking cool uh moosefield cat just said gifts are my love language uh i can absolutely relate um so everybody that is here from the brew crew um i allow me to introduce myself my name uh for those of you that may not know me my name is jake burgess i'm the community manager for yesward games uh this is um this is the yesward games channel i'm just gonna very quickly switch back to um uh, Big Jacob and just do a very quick introduction. Boop! Uh, so this is the Yisbert Games channel. Uh, one of the things that I do is I am the community manager for Yisbert Games, who is a publisher. Uh, we publish Valhalla. Uh, we publish Valhalla. We published uh, Masquerada Song in Shadows. We... Uh, um, uh, Masquerada Song in Shadows. Uh, Y2K, a postmodern RPG. And She Remembered Caterpillars, our new upcoming games are World of Horror and the sequel to Valhalla, which is what we're playing tonight, uh, called Nirvana. Um, so, just as a warning to everybody, okay? Uh, this is definitely adult content warning. This game is not what one would consider family-friendly. I'm also voice acting all of the, uh, the characters in this game. Um, so it's a kind of like a visual novel style game, except in, instead of picking different like dialogue choices you are mixing drinks for people um and this game definitely has adult themes uh star wars thx 1138 said oh my god I, uh i love you when i saw you on desert bus thank you serge i didn't know your twitch uh it's my absolute pleasure this isn't my personal twitch that's something that's going to be starting up in a couple of uh weeks um let's consider said wait are you voice acting them in real time or in the actual game i am voice acting them in real time um yes so Definitely uh, a, a content warning. Uh, Soprano Cat said, Squeal Jacob, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Um, uh, Moosefield Cat has it absolutely correct. Some of these characters are not good people. They are absolutely not good people. But I am wicked, wicked excited that you're all here. Um, we typically take a break uh, about every hour. I'm voice acting everybody in real time. Adult content warning. Some of these folks are not good people. Uh, there's definitely the swears um, and some bad stuff. So, uh, fantastic. Uh, grab a drink if you want. Uh, pull up a chair. Welcome to Valhalla. I'm drinking Gentleman Jack this evening. I will have some Japanese snacks uh, to eat and enjoy later. Um, uh, Soprano Cat says, oh yeah, Layers of Fear 2 can wait. Jacob VA, thank you very much. Uh, I am Kevin the Shark, said, very much looking forward to seeing your very own channel. I am too. I'm going to hopefully be continuing, I'm going to be continuing my, um, or rather starting over my Bloodlines playthrough, uh, that I was doing over on, uh, Tilty House because I am a voice actor and I do self up writing and I just finished up writing for Vampire the Masquerade. I'm, uh, moving on to write for, uh, the next, the next thing I am writing for is um, uh, 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 the Trinity Continuum for uh, Onyx Path, uh, and I believe the um, the line developer for that uh, Von Aether is actually in the chat. Um, anyway, yes. Uh, 
Good. So, uh, let's play a saucy game, shall we? Shablacko. Uh, and hello, Surge, and thank you very much. This is... <laughs> this is rad. Um, so for everybody watching and every, uh, and, and for all the lurkers and everybody, I appreciate the heck out of you, um, and welcome. And I hit the wrong button. There we go. That's the right button. So this whiskey's pretty great. Ah, marvelous. Mm, excellent. All right. Let us continue. Mr. Donovan. <clears throat> Seriously, though, did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? Uh, so we're currently uh, in the scene for folks just joining us. We are talking about the Hong Kong riots. This is set in a cyberpunk future. They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many, they have different capabilities you put in between. It's still segregation. And once people start crying segregation like that, you're doomed. This is the PR century. If you're gonna do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. Jill is the bartender. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor. And the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans. Uh, let's consider, asks, are we Jill then? Yes, we are Jill. Um, yes. Also, we have a Discord. I don't know if I mentioned that. I have no natural way at this point to segue into it, but we have a Discord, and we're pretty cool. And I'm the community manager. Hey. And everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests where... Ellipses. On second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get the full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got up high, all that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that. Uh, Sibwow said, "Sowing discord in this cyberpunk world leads to discord." Boom, segued. Well done. Cheers to you. Heh, <laughs> scholarship. That's no mean feat, brat. Well, I guess even without the scholarship, there would have been the language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. It's one of those things I'd rather not remember much of. You'd be surprised at how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? Eh, the only translator I had available was some pizza-faced pencil neck. And I was gonna allow myself- And I wasn't gonna allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well... I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? Wait, when you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? T t tangerine? Canto what? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken word. It's important to clarify because there are lots of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, so just saying Chinese won't do. You might have learned Cantonese because you were only going to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong and managed to seal the deal. I have no idea about anything else. Hello, Robert Merlot. Welcome. Uh, Robert Merlot and Sarah Serende are uh, two of Yizbrid's mods. Uh, huge shoutouts to both of them. They are both very, very fantastic. Uh, oh, and also, this is the first Twitch channel that we get to use uh, our heart. Uh, our actual, our very first emote for this channel, uh, and for Yesbird Games, which was made by one of our community members. Uh, I am No Lionheart, who we commissioned. Um, also, uh, we are seeking artists, uh, so if you hop in the Discord and PM me, uh, if you are an artist or anything like that, 
uh, or graphic designer, please let me know. We're actually looking through portfolios and trying to find some folks to do uh, some emotes and things for us for our Discord uh, to carry through also into Twitch once we unlock more uh, slots through, I think subscriptions are how you do that. Anyway, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars blast too, right? Ellipses. <laughs> sure, on it. He wants a Mars blast. That's a change of place, all right. All right. God, the music is so good. Mm. All right, Mars blast. Let's get this guy chrisunked. Because boy, do I not like him, and he doesn't work anyway. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Two powder delta. Eight flanner guide. Oh. What's slot one and slot two? I guess it's already big. All right. Well, great. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six bronze and extra ride, one powdered delta, four flanner guide, and two carmatrine. All blended. Yes. 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 Shaker, shaker, shaker. Shaker, shaker, shaker. Shaker, shaker. Success! It is a Mars blast. I am going to blast you right in your Mars. This is for you. Here. Uh, Drasoth said, the composer for this game also did the soundtrack for Yuppie Psycho, right? That is correct. Uh, Yuppie Psycho is the game that we're playing on Thursday nights in our Friends of Yisbert stream. Here. All right. I guess I'll believe your story. Sibwell says, very different from a Uranus Blast, let me tell you. That's absolutely correct. Uh, Studio Alchemist, I love Surge, but since I'm pinning and sewing and mainly listening, this combo of good music and good voice <laughs> voicing is way easier to follow. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, kid. I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone could use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh, good. Fuck those sons of bitches. <laughs> Fuck them some bitches. What did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff? How they feel like they have more power than you do and all that? Oh, yeah, I recall something like that. But then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when I'm drunk. That and racial slurs in German. Ra racial slurs in, in what? But let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. E Excuse me? Your readers. If you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm the client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in anything. You can't sell the shittiest of stuff and people will... You can sell the shittiest of stuff and people will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. But make one fucking mistake and it is over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. Gods forbid if they ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about the animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. <laughs> Lock up your pool, boys! There's cougars in that nearby forest! All because we got a pack of 40-year-old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties in the same forest and thought we were writing about them. God! I hope at least one of them gets eaten by the damn namesake. <laughs> yeah, it's funny when someone else hears it, but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. God, this guy's he's a peach, isn't he? Damn. 
You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. Look, God, man. Huh. They relish the thought of... Gar uh, <laughs> they relish the thought of ganging up against something. They mustered it. And, uh, uh, and they catch a bit too. And on a rare occasion, mayonnaise. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at the mirror. I mean, I'm... I'm angry at the mirror all the time. That's... That's just being a person. Sure. Let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but... Hearing it from him is kind of... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. Uh, I'm Kevin the Shark. So this is pretty close to what it was like when you were barting in that Yakuza bar in Japan. I mean, kind of. <laughs> the fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is enough of a problem already. Something delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it, but for some fucking reason, she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Uh, Eddie Fate said, I used to work for this guy. Uh, Eddie Fate is um, uh, a very prolific... Uh, he's a friend of mine, uh, and I, I, I welcome him. Uh, he works for Onyx Path Publishing and is a prolific tabletop writer um, and uh, was one of the driving forces to uh, one of my favorite lines, which is the Vampire 20th Anniversary Edition, um, which is what got me back into Vampire and helped make me the sad boy I am today. <laughs> Negotiating? Did you have to pay or something? Well, basically, when that encore concert happens, I need to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay, then. One last drink before I leave. Give me something bitter to wake me up. Sure. Mr. Donovan wants something bitter to wake him up. I wonder if some alcohol would help, too. Yeah. Bitter. How about a gut punch? Five bronze and extracts. One, two. Berg. Nope, that's not the right one. Nope, that's not the right one. One, two, three, four, five. One flanner guide. Yes. An optional camatrine. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. How boozy do we want to get him? Pretty boozy. Yeah, do it. Yep. Fuck this guy. Fuck this guy. <laughs> All aged and mixed. Okay, Chad is saying just do it. So I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna do it. <laughs> Max out the booze. Screw this dude. Oh, God. Ah, oh, the sweet, sweet vengeance. Uh, all aged and mixed. It did got punch. Yays. <laughs> Von Aether says Carmatrine optional is code for 20 Carmatrine. <laughs> Here. Yeah, this works just fine. You know, I feel like I should compensate the poor bastard that took the heat today. Oh? Yeah, that kid, uh, uh, Joel, uh, Gene, Guillermo, uh, Hirohito, I don't I can't remember his goddamn name. That kid is always gushing about that idol I interviewed. I can't remember anyone for shit, but he's annoying enough to make me remember him. So, I don't know. I feel like I cock-blocked cock him big time today by taking his gig away. 
Worst of all, I left them to fend off a pack of crazy bitches. And that's something I wouldn't wish on anyone. Not even my worst enemies, ellipses. Well, ellipses, eh, maybe two of them. <laughs> uh, Soprano Cat says, uh, or so Soprano. Soprano Cat, so no putting yourself down. Thank you. No, no putting myself down in any serious way. I will attempt to uh, occasionally use sarcastic, self-deprecating humor, um, but I, I do my best to take as good a care of myself as possible because, especially when I'm directing or in the booth or anything like that, I need to walk the walk if I talk the talk, and especially if I look at somebody and go like, no, bad, don't do that. You've got to make all of the fun things and good things and take care of your heart bits all the time. Um, I... You know, I need to have actual legitimacy when I say that. So I take care of myself very well, or I try, to, I try to. I try to. I do not always succeed. But thank you very much for your concern, and I really appreciate it. Uh, Drazoth says maximum over booze, and yes, for this guy, 100% maximum over booze. Another sip of whiskey for Jacob. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mr. Donovan. I'm no saint, kid, but I'm a man. Oh, dear lord. <laughs> and a man must never cock block another man unless he's trying to fuck your mom. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> what if it's your dad? Did I stutter? Ellipses? Maybe you can get him tickets or something. Nah, see, that mean he'd be off work, and I need him to be at my beck and call tonight. I've seen that Brack talk to no end about her, so... I know, I'll let him write about her somewhere else in the newspaper. Give him the food critics column. It's shit anyways. <laughs> I'm so fucking nice. I'm out, kid. <laughs> Oh, man. He's one of those charming assholes without the charm. Thank you. Please come again. That'd be something interesting to see, I guess. That was, um, tiring. Boy, was it. Hey, Jill, I, uh, I think I have a problem. Don't, don't tell me. Oh, the helmet's stuck. Yep. I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> Gillian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. Did you check the internet for help? How to take off a Valkyrie-type White Knight helmet is not precisely a common query, you know. I could break it, but I don't want to damage a client's property. What? What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. Ha 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 ha, that's pretty great. Uh, that is pretty good. <laughs> Sh shit, don't, don't scare me like that. I don't think you could run out of air with this helmet. I'm Kevin the Shark. Wow, you know what? This is so well written, it's astounding, right? This game is amazingly well written. What are you gonna do? Oh man, this music. I know someone that might help me. I'll give her a call. Let's see, where was her number? Oh, here it is. Hey, Iris, I need some unclogging advice. Iris? I've heard Chief call her a couple times. Maybe she's a friend? Uh, K Grimace. On their blog, Sukabon Games said they took a lot of inspiration from Pawn Stars and how their episodes were broken up with different customers and subplots. And isn't that a lesson? Shouldn't we all take inspiration from Pawn Stars? Yeah. I've got a first draft due soon. I think I'm just gonna watch a bunch of Pawn Stars and just let that flow through me. 
More importantly, will Chief be fine? <laughs> so for for those of us uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, uh, the Twitch chat at the time that I said that just exploded into no. And very I mean variations on no. We got a no, no we should not. Uh, we got a no uh, some very simple no's. Um, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, she will. Even if there's no God or Buddha, you can always trust boss. Yeah. Let's hope you're right. Hmm. Let's see. Hmm. Uh, Insidious Pie says, See, I wasn't looking at the screen and I heard you say Iris. I've played so much Arcade Spirits that I didn't... Uh, that I expected to hear a very specific voice go beep beep. Uh... <laughs> Um, and for those of you that may not know, I was the, uh, the, um, casting director and also in, um, uh, uh, a visual novel called Arcade Spirits. Uh, Mini Chi said, okay, sadly, I have to turn off the stream so I can go make cake. And then if you're still live, I'll sit down and watch, uh, while doing food math. Thank you very much, Mini Chi. We'll see you later. And, uh, I will see you a bit later on. Have fun with your cake. Good job with cake. If not, trust the band. Okay. Hmm. What kind of voice? Southern Bell? Hmm. We can go Southern Bell. We can go Brooklyn. Hmm. Let's wing it. We'll change it if we need to. Hey, honey, can you see me? Hey. Brooklyn. Hey, honey. Ah, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really? Man, did they sell me the wrong stuff? Who, who sold you what? Jill, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon and... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello! Oh, hello, Dorothy, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit then. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a Vic Jamma, not an optic camouflage system. Uh, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos where someone's stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where the clothes are the only thing you see and the other person is invisible. Come again? There's people out there with a fetish for invisible people. Where you can only see a few articles of clothes floating about? I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that'd make me invisible, and he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Ellipses. Okay, so this is Dorothy, and a lot of people have been very, very excited about Dorothy's appearance. Um, we've been going for about an hour. This is typically when we take a break. So, everybody take a break, get up, stretch, grab some water, grab another drink. Uh, we're gonna go back to Boof Big Jacob. Um, grab a drink, uh, take your meds, do whatever it is that you want to do. I'm going to let the, the music keep playing. And we'll be back in five to ten minutes here on Gizbert Games playing Valhalla. We'll see you in just a bit. Uh, let's see. Uh, I was trying to think of a topic, but the only thing I could think of was the old SNL skit. Is uh, uh, A pea is neither a pea nor a nut. Talk amongst yourselves. So I guess you could... You could talk about that. I don't know. I'm going to go use the bathroom. All right. I'll see you in just a bit. Five to ten minutes. Bye.
Hello and welcome back to the Yzbrid Game Stream. I am your uh, host and community manager, Jacob Burgess. Uh, we are currently playing Valhalla, a the cyberpunk bartender action, which is a visual novel where instead of dialogue choices, you mix drinks for a whole bunch of fun people. Uh, this is your grown-up, grown-up adult time content warning. Um, there are not great people in this game, um, but we are all great people. And you are all great people. And thank you very much for joining us. Um, I'm actually going to have uh, a Kit Kat because I realized I have a giant pile of Kit Kats I still have to get through. Uh, so we're going with pistachio and raspberry because I brought back a bunch from Japan when I went there a while ago. And I have to eat them all before they go bad. Um, yes. Oh, so good. So what's everybody eating tonight? Mm. Mm. Also, if you've been with us for a little while, you came in from the raid or anything like that, that lovely break screen was made by, mm. excuse me. Uh, was made by a community member, a friend of mine, um, and the um, um, social media manager and community manager for Drive Through RPG. Um, uh, you've seen her on the uh, in the chat for uh, to watch me torture myself with the Resident when we were uh, play through Resident Evil, uh, given to us by our friends at Capcom and our friend Liz Smith. Uh, her name in the chat is Twilight Solar Exalt. She is also known as Solar Exalt on. Twitter. Her name is Meredith Gerber, and she is fantastic and just a whole lot of sunshine and flowers shoved into one human being. She's absolutely fantastic. And she made that for us, and we really damn appreciate that. She is an amazing, amazing talent. And lurking, and just spoke up in chat. Okay, cool, excellent. Uh, let's consider set. I already ate, but God, now I want some Kit Kats. Uh, if you really really want some Kit Kats, go back a couple of streams, and I actually go through all the different flavors um, that I brought back at the top of the hour. Alrighty. So shall we? Shall we go back through the game? Yes. Let's go back through the game, yes? Yes, we go through the game now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're just gonna have some more of this tea here. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, green tea. Mmm. 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 Whiskey. Mmm. 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 Water. Mmm. Mmm. Excellent. Let's get back to it. Man. Mm. This is so my freaking jam. Mmm. All right. I'm sorry. I'm so caught up in this music. It is it is such my jam. I want to spread it on freaking toast. Oh, Jill. Ellipses. All right, so I wonder what your deal is. Even then, wouldn't your clothes be invisible too with a, such a jammer or something? Hmm. You have a point. Uh... Yeah. Yep. Ah, well, I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a nano camo module. N nano, nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the colors of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Huh. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? Well, if I remember correctly, they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last I checked, though. Almost? To the human eye? 
Well, it's not perfect. If you move, you'll be an eerie surroundings colored blob. And we Lilum see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might be what I need. Now, what was that about talking to yourself again? Ellipses. What? What? What is going on in the TV? What was that? What was that? What was... The TV did things. There was a pink-haired girl in the TV. Hmm. Uh, Zarbit says, before you ask, yes, we did see it. Thank you. Nothing important. What are you having? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano, woman. Sure. Promo drinks? Oh, neat. Piano woman, five at hide. One, two, three, four, five. Five Bronson extracts. Two powder delta, three flanagide. That is too many flanagide. Damn it. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two. Flanagide. Easy, Jacob. Easy. Don't get too crazy with the flanagide. One, good. One, two, good. Three, good, yes, excellent. And three, Camotrine. That's too many. I had so much fun hitting the button. Five, five, two, one, two, three. One, two, three. All aged and mixed. Mixed. Stop, I did it. Sing us a song, oh, the piano woman. That straw kind of looks like a butt. One piano woman. Thanks. I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions, whenever I'm feeling good or when I need to get out of a slump. And today? <laughs> today, I feel good. That's nice. Okay, then. How's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday? Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad it was filled to the brim with dogs. I would have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I didn't think this ticket should be valid. Or I don't think this ticket should be valid, excuse me. But then again, they were improvised, so there isn't really a contract involved or anything. You know... Hmm? If you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we could hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You'll still need to pay if you want to get naughty, though. I think I'll pass. I already have a cat that does all that. Do you pay him to... Finish that sentence and I'll make sure you be... <laughs> Finish that sentence, and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. Fine. Consider this a standing offer, though. Oh. Hey, John. Ah. Dorothy. Didn't see you here last Friday. I was... dealing with some stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What did you do? What did you do? I'd rather not talk about it. Hey, honey. What did he do? Gil's been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mass that tries to bite him every once in a while. Oh, so good. Nice. Nebulous? You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And, you know, 
People lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the hell's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I... I'm... I'm right here, you know. Did... Did I tell any lies? N no but... Ugh, never mind. Oh yeah, about your boss. Why is she wearing a helmet? She found it, she put it on, now she's stuck. Oh yeah, randomly putting stuff on you find is problematic. No shit. I mean, there's this girl that wanted to see if she could use a glass bottle as a... <clears throat> a bit early for those stories, don't you think? Nope. By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. Good night, Eddie. Eddie Fade says, okay, I'm off. Night all. Good night, Eddie. I have a job too, you know. Yeah, but you usually come before you start. <laughs> Aw, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird? The guy paid me to spend all day pretending to be his daughter. Ho. Oh. Mmm. Oh, that's good whiskey. That's nice. That's good. Really? Yeah. I go to his house at 11 a.m. dressed as requested and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Three years? Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh yeah, but last year he also wanted me to play the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait a second, does he have a daughter or not? I mean, had. Seems she died four years ago. Oh lord. Oh. Yep, I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Uh, Anime Kitty, Jacob, do you remember this guy she's talking about? Oh, uh, I think uh, it was the guy with the neck. I, I, it, it, it tickles the brain. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. Sarah Serende, other jerk guy with the neck thing. Yep, got it. Uh, Drazoth, it was the guy you voiced, uh, the, the Scottish guy. Uh, Moonblast, by name. Moonblast. A Moonblast, six etl. Six etl heid. Etl heide. One, two, three, four, five, six. One powder delta. One flander gide. He's nice. Two carbatrine. He's good. No relation to the Hadron Cannon. You can see on the moon for one week every month. All on the rocks and blended. Shaker, shaker, shaker. Super shaker. Super shaker. Shaker, 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 shaker. Indeed, it. He's nice. Here you go. Is the moon blessed? It blessed you to the moon. There's something interesting about this drink. I don't actually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes like a bit of sugar drowned in pure alcohol. Small wonder you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. <laughs> yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. Do you actually mind what anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Uh, yes and no. At a factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory? Nope, 
every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. Makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade? Once DFC-72 passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters its body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know. Right now, I'm a rarity. You don't find many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. And I really need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me half the time, it's not because I'm me. The amount of role-playing I have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So, if I stop looking underaged, I'll lose my advantage over everyone else. I didn't think about it that way. Should I think about it at all? I mean, maybe I'll go through with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Uh, so this is the Deus Ex guy, right? This is absolutely the Deus Ex guy. Also, this freaking song, like... Oh, it's so good. Uh, let's see, Jamie. Huh. Uh, Moosefold Cat, Russian accent, sold. Done. Okay. Yes. It's good. Yes. Very good. Very good. Russian. Okay, yes. Good evening, Gil. Jill and Gillian. Welcome to... Ellipses. Does that happen a lot? Not really. It would happen less if Jill would just let people call her Jules. Call me Jules, and I'll make sure every time you sit, you hear the clicking of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute, Jane. Hami? Jaime? Is it Jaime? I'm going to say Jamie. I'll be with you in a minute, Jamie. Just let me finish here. Sure, no hurry. <laughs> Hello, sailor. <laughs> Ellipses. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Oh, I couldn't let you do that, Ellipses. Fishman Fish Fish, subscribed with Twitch Prime. Thank you very much for your subscription. Fishman Fish Fish. Oh, I couldn't let you do that. I insist. I got a hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject ellipses. Sure, I'll take you all off. I'll, I'll take your offer. Yes, it's very really nice. Yay! Honey, I'll have a big sunshine cloud. Uh, I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl puts me on edge with the way she addresses people. Okay then, let me get your orders. One big sunshine cloud. So that's a double, three, four, four Adelheid, four Bronson extracts, optional Karmatrine, yeah, let's get her a little tipsy tips. Tippy chipses. We'll just, we'll give her three. Tippy chipses. All on the rocks and blended. Big sun cloud, good, okay. And a gut punch. Five Bronson extracts. Five. One Flanner Glided. Optional Carmatrine. Let's uh. Let's do four. Good. All aged and mixed. 
Serve. Good. Here and here. Thank you. All in order. Thank you, Dorothy. Don't mention it. And thank you, Gil Jill. It's my job. Hey, Dorothy. May I ask you something, uh, private? <laughs> if you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. It's not about that. Well, then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me something I had never been asked before. Is it true that the DFC-72 line leaves tracking memo machines in the other person after, well, you know? Well, time to get thirsty on Maine. After they violate every hole in your body, regardless of its original purpose? Ahem. <clears throat> yes. Well, that's a semi-myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Care to explain? We do have tracking nanomachines, but they are released when the body enters alert mode. When we're being assaulted or the like. That way the authorities can, the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy though. I've heard stories of DF-72s who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and BAM! Their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've modded myself so much that if any tracking nanomachines were still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. There's also this urban myth that the uh, nanomachines help improve performance, but that's just silly. Now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much of you is still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine. See if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with the meanie. Thank you. Please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does that it's kind of hard not to root for her. She also has no qualms about anything whatsoever, and that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. Right, I'm gonna go and take my... Gil! I need your girly hands for a second here! Coming! Sorry, can you take care of him while I help her? Sure, no ah, <laughs> Sure, no problem. And affinity for fun just clipped. Uh, good. Okay, great. <laughs> just clips getting third, getting thirsty on main. Sure, no problem. I apologize if I am taking time from your break. Nah, don't worry. Sorry, you'll have to deal with me. You're no problem, problem, Jill. Yeah, but you usually seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, do you want something else? Can you make me a Mars Blast? That I can. A Mars Blast. Mars! Better not give him any other kind of blast. Drink by accident. He is. Marvelous. Yes. 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 Six Bronson Extract. Yes. Yes, yes, that's the W. Yes, six. Don't get too excited now with uh, the hotkeys. <laughs> yes. Mm. 
Mm, yes, four flanner guide. Flanner guide. <laughs> mm, two carmatrine. Yeah, two carmatrine. Yeah, okay, that's. Mm, yeah, all blended. Yeah. Mm, 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 shake a shake a shake a. Mm, shake faster now. Shake faster. She yeah, here, there it goes. That's nice. That's nice. I can give you the Morris Blast, sir. <laughs> mm, yeah. Mm. Here. Bitter and mind numbing. Just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day. So you haven't been to a war. Not to an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering about for a while now. What could that be? First, it was how a professional assassin could be so polite and pleasant to be around. But I guess your line of work doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. Thinks a lot. See, that, I like that line. That's a really good line. Your, your profession doesn't have to have any bearing on your personality. I mean, look at me. I'm so dour. So dour. But truly, that is, that's a really good line. There's a lot of expectations sometimes, because a lot of people tend to ask, you know, what do you do? You know, I like to ask, how do you earn a living? Instead of like, what do you do? Because that's not the totality of who you are. Um, and it's, it's respectful, you know? I usually ask somebody what they do for fun uh, or like what their hobbies are or something like that. Uh, Cataclysmic Reverb says, uh, how can you be so dour at this hour? Mm. Two Flower says, sad, sad Jacob in snow. Oh, actually, I should show you my... Uh... I have a picture of me being sad in snow. That's actually, I, it's, it's buried under stuff, but like my, uh, my desk mat is a really really good uh really good artist and it's a uh, it's a sad it's a sad kid in snow thanks a lot what i've often wondered about is how you can be so calm here aren't you worried about police or the like well first of all i try to keep everything as clean as possible Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind it if you just said... Hmm. Oh, I need to fix. Excuse me. Just a second. My, I have to fix my, my mouse pad. It got all crumbly. And it is, it's not flat. I don't like it not being flat. Because then it bothers my wrist. Give me just a moment, please. Okay, it's all fixed. Hmm. You wouldn't happen to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? Man, I like how every time there's an opportunity to find out about find out about the boss's mechanical arm, she just like jumps on it. I heard she lost her original uh, her excuse me. I heard she lost her original original original. I heard she lost her original fighting a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor though. Damn, I still don't know then. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. Which leads me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. <laughs> Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should, it's quite the show. Good news, Jill. <clears throat> Good news, Jill. Good news, Jill. Good news, Jill. Good news, Jill. The helmet came off and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break. All right. Nice. 
Man, I love this splash screen. They made Gil look like a Pokemon trainer. I'm gonna save it in the same slot, yeah. Iron Man run of Valhalla. Beep. It's now safe to keep playing. All right. Boss should clean the chicken bucket she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. Troubling news. A gaze that invited. Ah, uh, Renee. Ah, <laughs> uh, we did that. The answer lies within. Let's get introspective. I like that. Let's get introspective and reminisce. Dusk. Yo, yo. City that never sleeps in honor of New York. Underground club. As opposed to the above ground sword. <laughs> uh, the skyline. Yeah. Ready. Let's do it. Boom. Mm, 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 mm. You could take a couple minutes more, you know. Fine. Thanks. How did you get the helmet off? <laughs> Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns that helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Von Aether said, I like that Windows 95 touch. It's now safe to shut down your computer. I do too. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now take it away from me before I feel compelled to put it on again. R right. Yes, it's open. Great. Welcome to Valhalla. Hey. It's another Lilum. Hmm. Good evening. Um, what kind of place is this? Did I step into some kind of afterlife? Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Sorta, of, kinda, yeah. Well, this is a bar. A bar? Nice, nice. Okay, uh, apparently this uh, character is called Miki, and chat is very excited about them. What can I get you? Okay, so when I say chat is very excited about them, I mean chat is ridiculously excited about them. I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. Chad is apparently doing a thing. Chad's doing a thing. It's the best when Chad's doing a thing. Hey, wait. Who changed the channel? No. No. Fighting boys. There we go. What about flavors? Bitter, but not too bitter? Sorry if it's too confusing. Something bitter, but not too much. Maybe something bitter and girly? Hmm. Uh, Moosefield Cat said, okay, I love the blue-haired tea person. Great. Let me see what I can get you. Mulan tea. Spice tea. Bottle set. Success. It's tea. 
I have tea. Uh, so who told me to use the tea? Anime Kitty said you bought tea last time. Use that here. Thank you very much. Here you go. Hey, I like this one. But didn't you say you didn't have tea? Well, it's not freshly made tea or anything like that. You don't look like you're from around here. What brought you by, miss? I'm the star that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. She's Sailor Moon. I'm the northern light that will show you your dreams. I'm Kira Miki. Awesome. So, so should I call you Miss Miki or Miss Kira? No, you're not getting it. I'm Kira Miki. Here, let me help you. I'll say Kira, and you say Miki, okay? Oh, dear lord. Okay. Kira! Mi Miki? No, 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 no. Put more spirit into it. Kira! M Miki. Oh, oh, almost there. Kira! M Miki. Kira! Miki! Kira! <laughs> Jill and Gillian. Miki! Kira! Everyone. Miki! <laughs> That's it. Are you feeling it? Kira! Everyone. <clears throat> <laughs> Miki! Kira! <laughs> Miki! Kira! Miki! <laughs> and don't you ever forget it. <laughs> Group ellipses. What the hell am I doing out here? <laughs> uh, Dixie Cyanide said, I tuned in for 30 seconds to say hi, and oh god, what is happening? <laughs> Welcome. We just met Kira Miki. Hey. Um, where were we, Jamie? R right. I, I was telling you... Wow, you're good. Thank you. It's nice to know I still have it. Especially since I have a concert in a bit. C concert? Wait, you're the Lilum that's putting on a concert tonight? I'm one Lilum who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same Lilum you're looking for. And what are you doing all the way down here? Well, they were making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while that's going on, so I just decided to leave. Okay. Hi, Dixie. She's, uh, Dixie Cyanide said, hi, but also bye. I have to get up at seven hours. In seven hours. Okay, get some sleep. Bye. I saw one of the concert's posters outside and decided to check this place, uh, and decided to check this place. Just that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Wouldn't your producer be mad when you get back? Two flower. I better go. Lots of writing to do. Later, Jacob. See you later, Two Flower. Uh, Two Flower, by the way, for anybody joining us, is uh, one of the writers uh, and uh, one of the creators of Arcade Spirits, which I had mentioned before, of which this game uh, was an influence on, and I did the casting and directing for. He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs me to do the concert anyway. I, I see. How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal, and that's nice. I think this is a good time for saying thank you for being part of the community. 
Over 100,000 is not many, then what exactly is? Uh, hold on. Then based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Miki, right? Oh, God. You don't get it. Let's start from the top. Uh, I'll just call you Miss Idle, then. Oh, I like that. Hey, do you have anything soft? Soft as in alcohol-free? No, I meant soft as in soft. Soft. L let's see what I can get you. Something soft. I wonder if she means alcohol-free or something else. Huh. Sour classy vintage. Bubbly classic vintage. Spicy black sobering. Spicy promo bland. Sweet girly soft. Okay, that says soft. Uh, Anime kitty, would you like an option? Absolutely. Um, but I think the blue fairy would do because she's blue. It says soft. That also says soft. Yeah, I'm gonna go with the Blue Fairy, I think. Um, and I won't put any booze in it, because she has a show, and that's not... You shouldn't drink while you're performing. It's good whiskey. One, two, three, four. One Flander Guide. All aged and mixed. Uh, Mini Chi says, wait, 400 or 800 cookies for the bake sale. Bake sale takes place over two days. Also 100 cupcakes or 200 cupcakes. How many lemon bars and soft like fresh cake? Wow. Okie dokie. Hmm. Uh, Soprano Cat says, he says, and promptly drinks. Oh, I messed that up. What did I do? Oh, that was Powder Delta. Oops. I hit the wrong button. There we go, Blue Fairy. Try this. Yeah, this'll do, thanks. Hey, have you considered being more theatrical in mixing drinks? Eh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles and lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump of the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. Those kind of theatrics usually feel pointless and seem to slow down the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and be very rewarding, you know. I'll keep it in mind. I'll keep it in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay, then. Who should I make it out to? Maybe for my boss? I, I wonder if Gil would like it, though. Your name, girl. Oh, for Jill, then. For Jill. Never lose your star. From Kira... Miki! <laughs> oh, that's a pretty autograph. Thanks! No, thank you. I'm guessing someone with as many fans as you has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people that obsess over me. There are the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And there's my fan club. <laughs> What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot, too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. Uh, I see. They're also very organized. They would make pretty good soldiers. Whoa. Whoa. Oh, she just got... She just got hardcore.
The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier and don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember once one protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. <laughs> Jesus. And she fails to see the problem? I just wish they'd leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. Nope, wait, it, it isn't. It, no, it's not. Yeah, you get me, Jill. Ellipses. Okay, one more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night until dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned and the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. That's really cool. I'd be depressed if they asked for your love as a drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Hey, I need to make people feel their tickets were worth a ridiculous price, you know? That's good. Oh, that's really good. Don't you think it sucks to pay for something only to find out you shouldn't have bothered? Yeah, one time I bought some expensive coffee in this one cafe. It tasted like filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl that served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Uh, speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I really need to wake myself up. Well, let's see what I can find for you. If you want something bitter, maybe to sober up a bit? I'm going to go with Sunshine Cloud. Oh, Robert Merlot just said Sunshine Cloud. I mean, it's, you know, called Sunshine. She's, you know, getting up with the sunshine. It's, it's thematic. Thematic, yes. Uh, to Adelheid, to Brownstone Extract, uh, and... Nope. One, two, no Karmatrine, on the rocks, all blindaded. Tastes like old chocolate milk with its good smell intact. Some say it tastes like caramel too. Sunshine cloud. Thweave. Oh, try this. Yeah, this works. So how is it? It could be a bit sweeter, but it's delicious. I figured it was for waking you up or something, so... Really nice, thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but... Hmm? I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of this is about the music? <laughs> I'll let you know that before becoming Kira Miki, I was a very accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-timed in bars with a jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. Whoa. Why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol. Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide range of emotions. And that power is universal. It can transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music and I can reach every single one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I do prefer versions with no lyrics. 
Why? I like to listen to music while working, and lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics. I think only half the listeners actually care about what's being said. Oh, that's a bummer. I'd give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any any at the moment. Oh, don't worry about it. Okay then, I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Jill. Sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. Will she be all right? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? Usually I'd say no, but I honestly don't know. Boss, we're done. All right. You feel like going to that girl's concert? Nah, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey boss, does the name Red Comet ring any bells? Why, that was my moniker during my wrestling days? <gasps> Dana is best boss! Oh, so good. K Grimace says, fan club to me, we ride! You're, huh? That's what they called me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. Oh, that's so good. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. Any reason for being red specifically? Hmm. Okay, I need to take a break. I'm going to rest my voice because I've been going pretty hard uh, for about an hour straight. So let's go back to Big Jacob. All right, everybody, uh, this is the Isward Games channel. Stick around. We're going to go uh, for a little while longer after the break. So get up, take a stretch, break time, uh, do whatever it is that you need to do. And we'll be back in five to ten minutes. I will leave you with this sweet, sweet, sweet music. Uh, I am Kevin the Shark is taken off. Thank you very much for joining us. I'm Kevin the Shark, uh, and you can catch up on the VODs. Thank you very much for being here. And break time. See you all in a bit. Bye.
Well, hello, everybody. Oh, and uh, whilst I was on break, Nick the DM is raiding with a party of five. Thank you very, very much. And welcome, everybody, from uh, Nick the DM's channel. Uh, I see a new name, Blood Red Eyes 21 Hello, Nick the DM says, cool, cool. How goes the drink mixing and life changing? Meet anyone fun on the other side of the bar? Uh, yes, we met Kiramiki and Dorothy. Hmm. And they were both very fun. All right, so back to it. What do we have now? Uh, yes, anyway, so for those of us just joining us, um, this is the Usbird Games channel. We are an indie games publisher. Uh, we're playing one of the games that we uh, published. We're playing one of our games uh, called Valhalla, Cyberpunk Bartending Action. Uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a visual novel style game with amazing writing, content warning, adult themes. I'm Jacob Burgess. I'm the community manager for Usbird Games and a voice actor and a game writer and... Uh, and your new friend. <laughs> so, let's do it. Let's get back to it. La la, la la la. La la, la la la. There we go. Any reason for being red specifically? That way I was three times faster. How did you find that out? Do you like wrestling? Huh. A client messaged it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. Ah, I see. I should take you to a wrestling match sometimes. Maybe you'll like it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Maybe. In that case, Gil's cleaning the glasses today, so I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and, uh, boss? Don't cram anything on your head without thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. Yay! Cool. Uh, total earnings, 7,200. Excellent. Drinks total, uh, 1,520. Mistakes, zero. Excellent. Commission, 30%. Today's payment is 456. Uh, tips, 1,300. Uh, flawless service bonus, fantastic. Grab a snack on the way home, it's on me. Today's total transfer, 2,556. Heck yeah. Marvelous. Your membership to Shining Fingered will automatically renew on the 17th. Make sure your account is at least $800 by then. Jill is humming, your love is a drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. I definitely want to do that. You can now browse Kiramiki's blog. Neat. Okay. Let's go shopping, huh? Oh, uh, let's go back. Let's go back to the house. Wait. Okay, good. Four. Did that idol really show up, or is she like the ghost? Hey. We go shopping. Okay, that's a Kiramiki poster. Oh, I like the flickery light. That's cool, by J.C. Elton's. I bought the Mulan tea. Meet the staff. This one's a scrap of paper with the download code for meet the staff scribbled. Your love is a dot dot dot. Idle Hell, a magazine with all things idle, has a download code for your love is a drug. That's what she was humming, right? Oops. I'm going to double check. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Boop. Yes, I would buy this. Yes, yes. It's very nice. Yes. That's the song. Uh, Nick the DM said that's the song. It's pretty catchy. Excellent. Joker Cyclone. Despite the noisy name, it's just a fan. Fans are good, though. Really good. Oh god, I want to buy a whole bunch of stuff. PC9X. It's Vintage Gaming. Experience all the cumbersome load times as they were meant to be. Uh, okay, so chat. Because uh, I know some of the stuff, like, had... It was important to buy, like, the tea. Really helped. So is there anything that I should buy now? Is there anything that I need to buy now? 
Uh, Von Aether says, if you have enough fans, you can have an army. <laughs> that's pretty cool. I mean, that's a that's that's pretty good. I just heard that having a lot of fans kind of blows. So, yeah. Uh, not yet, no. Uh, I think you're supposed to only buy things as Joe wants them, but I never played it. Okay. Oh, that's right. This is the last time. I want to buy so much stuff, though. Oh, all right. I want to buy things. I want to buy decorations. I want to buy decorations. I want to buy them. I want to buy them. Decorate the house. All right. Let's look at that. That D. Alice Rabbit Thread 2. Alice Rabbit Thread 2. Electric Boogaloo. Uh, so I think for tonight we're gonna we're gonna look through the phone and then we'll uh, we'll save the game and I think uh, I think we'll wrap up. But I definitely want to read through all of this stuff. Stop forcing Alice. So we hate Alice now. Good. It's just that we haven't heard any news yet. Remember that time they posted here to announce an attack? LOL. Yeah. And I remember Cybercrime Unit up the admin's ass. December seventeenth will come. The second Retribution birthday is coming. That font, oh boy, spooky font. It's happening. Ha <laughs> ha, time for despair. Oh shit, fuck. That feeling when I just got out of jail. I'm not going back. Do you know what happens to people with IPs on the wrong thread? Hi, cybercrime unit. I just want to let you know that I'm not Alice, but in fact, your mom. Why are you gals so nervous? The only one getting fucked is the admin. Hashtag, hashtag, admin, colon, furfur. Hashtag, hashtag, fuck off, Alice, not this shit again. This thread is closed. Miki Concert 4. In the last thread, no shit posting allowed. Did that one anon le left? I think so. I never left. I was just lurking to not cause any trouble. Don't worry. We're here for you. Any ideas for the great revelation? Do you know if you like her yet? Look, I just don't want to ruin our friendship. We know we we've known each other since we were very young. So she's your childhood friend? It's like one of my Japanese animes. Oh, love it when they call them animes. I like that Japanimation. It was very nice. I like the ones with the punching. The punching. And all of the underwear shots. Those animes. Yes. All of those Japanimations. Yeah? Okay, this is what you have to do. When Miki ends singing Lovers in Paradise, you kiss her. K -k kiss <laughs> Of course, just try to imagine how magical that moment would be. With the fireworks and the epic guitar solo. I, I will think about it. Mickey Concert 3. In the last thread, Anon hates fun. I don't want fights. You people are so immature. What's wrong with being guy in danger? Backslash you, backslash you. Why do we care if we assume you're a girl anyway? Fuck off. Dudes in danger. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the concert, please. 2070X, are you stupid idiots still care about petty shit like this? He started everything by mentioning he's a guy. Sigh. Anyway, we should gather somewhere to take the train together. Okay, so this is, like, the fan club. No more shit posting. Okay, good. Alright, well, that's... Terrifying. Hey, the Augmented Eye. Neo San Francisco. Rocked by an Earth. Rocked by all of the Earth. A whole Earth. Neo San Francisco. Rocked by a powerful earthquake. Millions saved. By Kimberly Lavelle. A powerful 8.6 magnitude tremor has struck the area of Neo San Francisco. Fortunately, modern science was able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst. During a conference call, Glitch City's Prime Minister Quincy congratulated the rescue teams at Neo SF for its rapid response in the wake of the warning. They're an example to follow, and we're certainly looking forward to implement these advancements in earthquake prediction here in our beautiful city. Glitch City is not currently known to be a seismic zone. And I think that's uh, uh, read-only memories, because Neo San Francisco is, I think, where that's set. Kiramiki confirmed as the best pop star in history. Oh, this guy. This is his article by Donovan Dawson. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. She's the best. Like, she had to be handcrafted to be this perfect. Holy moly. That she's the top tier everything, and I'm baffled as to how there are still people out there hoping to be as awesome and hot and great. They can't. It's impossible for a human to top such an achievement. I, for one, 
welcome our new Robico Overlord. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Interview. Gloria Light and her quest for a Tino Award. By Lana Smithy, the Augmented Eye. In today's interview, we sit with Trino, uh, Tino Award nominee Gloria Light. With Tino Award nominee Gloria Light. It's an honor to be here with you. It, it, it's my pleasure. Tell us everything. <laughs> Content blocked in your region. That stinks. Uh, Donovan D. Dawson is the asshole boss. We'll probably have to get him drunk. Let's get him drunk. Most excellent. Okay, so that got broken. But we can look at the Kiramiki blog. Thanks, GC. Thanks, GC, by Miki. Oh, I love this place. So much energy, so much love. I could feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still came You still came to see me, and I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd in my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce that we'll have a second date in the city. It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. This was by far our biggest show, and I can't wait to experience again. See you soon, my darlings. Love, Mickey. Dome Concert. Dome Concert by Mickey. Hi everyone, are you ready for the Dome Concert? I sure am. I perform in a rather large number of concerts every year, and even then I can't help but be excited every time I have one around the corner. And it's all thanks to you, thanks to your energy and love surrounding my life in every aspect. I'm going to perform all your favorite songs, so please be excited. Just one a little request. Please don't wait for me outside the stadium or my bodyguard will get angry at you. I wouldn't like to see you hurt, so please don't do it. Love, Mickey. Uh, K Grimace. Yeah, you can get different articles by getting him sloshed. There's one really good one at one point for serving him something different. That's amazing. K Grimace, if yeah, if you're uh, if you're around and when that comes up, yes please. Yeah, just tell me what that is and that's great. What I do to relax. What I do to relax by Mickey. It's been very hectic as of late, so I'd like to share with you what I do to relax. Sitting on rooftops, I'm on the road most of the time, so I don't have a specific rooftop to relax on. I like to feel the breeze and see a beautiful vista. It makes me think about life. Tea cocktails. Oh, this is something I can't live without. Mixing, mixing tea with vodka, rum, gin, lime, you name any tasty and natural combination and I'll be all over it. I'm very careful about getting tipsy before a show though. I wouldn't like to ruin your evening. That's all for today. See you. So that's what she meant by a tea-like drink. Got it. Okay, cool. Awesome. All right, let's save. We saved the game for our Iron Man run, which is really, I mean, it's the only way to hardcore play this game. Oh. Anyway, let's go back to Big Jacob. Big Jacob. All right, my friends, so that's all uh, we're going to be able to do tonight because if I started anything, it would be forever since we got... It's usually an hour between save points. Um, so thank you very, very much for joining us this evening. We will be back at 5 p.m. Pacific on Thursday for our friends of Yisbert's Dream. Uh, we're going to be playing Baroque Decay's Yuppie Psycho. And if you like the music of Valhalla, you will like the music of Yuppie Psycho. I sure as hell do. Um... Holy monkey, it is such a good game. And it would be lovely if you came to join us, uh, because also it's a horror game, and I'm scared. Uh, and you can follow the channel, everybody that came uh, from raids and things like that. Thank you so much for sticking around. Thank you for being here, the community. You are fantastic. Uh, come and join our Discord, because again, chances are if you like one of our games, you're going to like all of our games. Um, so yeah, come and join us on the Discord. We're looking for artists, so if you've got a portfolio or anything like that, uh, we're, we want... We want folks to do, um, uh, we want folks to do, oh my goodness, emotes and stuff for us. We just got our emote approved for the, um, uh, for the channel. We have a lot of cool stuff coming down the pike, so make sure you tune in here, uh, for all your, uh, Yisbrid news. Um, and thank you very much, uh, my Spirit Squad, my Yisbridians. Uh, the reason that we say Spirit Squad is that Yisbrid is Welsh for spirit or, uh, ghost. 
Um, so thank you, my Uh for joining us this evening. I'm Jacob Burgess, your humble host and community manager. Come and join us on the Discord. And this has been the Ezra Game Stream and Valhalla. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to make strengths, save lives, like, share, and take care of yourself. Relax the shoulders. Sit up straight and breathe. Good night.